Hey everybody, um, I know I talk about Aldi all the time and I have some people that are like afraid to come in here because they're not sure what it's like. So I was here today doing a couple of, a little bit of shopping and it's not that crowded. I've actually wanted to do this a lot of times <laughs> and I've been too nervous because there's a lot of people in here and I didn't know um, if I would like get in trouble or something. Um, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that I buy at Aldi and well, actually I buy my whole week's shopping here but some of the really good deals here and um, just show you some of the prices and so you can kind of see um, what it's like inside here hey Laura I'm gonna be showing um, some stuff that I buy here in Aldi so I'm gonna turn it around try to so here is the produce section um, which I buy like a bulk of what hey Samantha so this is like a 10 pound bag of tomatoes, uh, uh, sorry, potatoes, and it's $1.59, which is a really good deal. Ginger root, $0.99, cents, so I'll let you see some of the prices up there. Um, potatoes and onions, so sweet potatoes, $0.89. Cents. Um, they have a lot of candy and stuff. I gotta go around this big cart. A lot of Christmas candy, a lot of German fun stuff. Um, so peppers and green peppers. Three pound bag of onions is 79 cents. And um, so there we got green peppers, green peppers, and then there is an organic section of fruits and vegetables here. This Aldi's huge. Uh, I feel like it's the same size of a German Aldi. So here, back here, is like the um, meat and cheese, and then a whole bunch more produce. And I love this section too. Um, so you can kind of take a look like this whole thing of squash is like 79 cents. So lunch is 39 cents. Celery, you know, I don't know if you guys can see this. Cucumber is 39 cents. I buy like five of them a week at least. <laughs> Butternut squash, one and nine for a whole one. Spaghetti squash. Oh, that's more expensive. 2.9 last week. It was only 99 cents. So I bought a bunch of them. But still, that's a pretty good price. The bulk of what I buy is produce. I mean, I do buy stuff for my whole life. So then there's like a meat section over here. I'll just give you a little quick tour and then I'll keep talking. Um, and then some dairy and more produce, frozen stuff. More produce this way. Hey, Tasha. Um, yeah. Hey, JD. Yeah, I love shopping there in Germany when I was there and I love it. Avocados. See, the, the thing with Aldi is they change prices, so you kind of just have to keep coming. So I bought all the avocados for $0.39, cents, $0.29, cents. Roma tomatoes, Natalie loves those. I buy a couple packs of those a week. She eats them like candy. Um, you, you just kind of have to see, and they have different things on sale each week. So pineapple, $1.89. I've bought pineapple here for like $0.75. Cents. Um, and so whatever's on sale or whatever's like a good price, I buy lot of it <laughs> and that's like kind of the fruit we eat or the the vegetables we eat that week um, so there's bread section I'll just keep kind of going through it's not too crowded so I'm just gonna keep going there's lots of bread and um, some Mexican stuff I'll go back down this way there's dairy and frozen that way but I'm gonna go over this way people are looking at me but I don't care <laughs> um, so there's one of the brands here is called Specially Selected and that's kind of more of like your gourmet thing, like artisanal stuff and kind of fun, I call it like party food. And I'm gonna go back down this way. So this is like baked goods and stuff, baking stuff. I'm gonna go this way. Hey Skate. Yeah, it, oh my gosh, I spend like $100 for our family here every week. So they do have a lot of stuff um, that you don't want to buy <laughs> like you can buy but like honey buns and that kind of stuff I just skip over that section I don't buy any of that um, and they have condiments coffee and cereal let me go this way what I wanted to show you is this yeah so Millville is the brand that is like the Aldi brand but if you look at it if you look at the ingredients of it compared to um, checks it's almost like exactly identical they some people said they even make them in the exact same um, factory <laughs> so that's interesting so fit and active is their brand that's supposed to be kind of like a healthy brand but you need to really be careful because I've looked at it a lot and a lot of it has like fake sugars in it and stuff um, so it just might mean it's like 
diet food or something, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's better for you, um, you know, if they're putting in like the fake sugars. But this brand here, or when it has this symbol, the Simply Nature brand, um, that means it's organic. And they have that a lot of their, a lot of, um, a lot of their stuff is that. So like you can look, there's packaged oatmeal and then there's like the organic kind. So some people worry, you know, about organic stuff. You're gonna wanna stick with that stuff. And then over here is um, dried nuts, raisins, and like snack food stuff, pretzels, and what is that, beef jerky. So it's like a, it's like a regular store. There's lots of, these things are like, kind of like kind bars, but I don't buy them very often, but as a treat, they're fun. Um, so yeah, and then the front is like wine and beer. So all right, does that help anybody? Does that help you see like what's in here? Um, I pretty much, like I said, I buy mostly everything here. They don't have really specialty condiments or, and I don't buy like all of my meat here and you know, some things like that. But on the whole, I buy pretty much everything here. So, um, and it saves us a ton. I have a family of six and I spend right around a hundred um, a week, like give or take, like I don't need that much for this week. So I bet I'll be about 50 bucks because I spent about 120 last week and we didn't eat it all. Um, and so I have a lot left at home. Um, so yeah, eggs right over there. I'm looking, gallon of milk. I'll come show you guys. Keep walking. <laughs> they may have any like questions. I can show you something, I'm in here. So this, I'll turn it again. So that is dozen eggs, 67 cents milk, $1.38 for a gallon of milk. Um, and bread there's different there's better brands and and then this way is all that kind of stuff too um so yeah so yeah those are not like your farm raised eggs so you may want to get that somewhere else but if that's not something that's a big deal to you that's a really good price on a dozen eggs um so yeah the greek yogurt i buy this here they have butter here i'm looking down the row um a ton of spices and things like that yeah there is spices um here they don't have every single one that you might be looking for fit something specific but they they have a ton actually it's right over here so i'll just keep walking skate and i can show you um to me h-e-b is not cheap <laughs> i've been there a couple of times and um i do go there when i need something that they don't have here but i spend a ton more ton more there and one thing i love about aldi too is that it is smaller i can get in and out of here in under an hour for sure but usually like 30 minutes. Um, whereas I'm in HEB, it is huge and it just takes a long time to walk up and down each aisle. And if you forgot something, <laughs> it's, it's like Walmart, like it takes forever to walk back. And I mean, I can see this entire store, like all of it right now. And so if I forgot the spices, I can just walk back over here. So Skate, this is for you. I'm gonna show you um, the spices. So. They have a few packets. I don't use those a lot because I just make my own spices and it's a lot easier and better doesn't have extra stuff. But here we go. We've got onion, cumin, parsley, all that kind of stuff. And they are all $1.19 for like a big container of it. And so they have seasonal stuff. So like right now they have cloves and rosemary, pumpkin pie spice, and all of that is like $1.69. And then these spices are more organic ones. Um, and they are $1.99. So, um, an almond extract, peppermint, $1.99. So this is like the baking section. I don't know if I showed you guys, but they do have nuts and raisins and um, stuff like that. So, yes, you totally have to go. You're gonna be blown away. Um, I think some of this produce alone, but other um, pantry staples, like it's just so much cheaper. Like organic pumpkin, 79 cents. Like. I buy like five of those a week because <laughs> I love pumpkin. Um, but they do have cake mixes and you know, some of that stuff that I don't, I don't buy it as much, but they have it. And so yeah, so this is my favorite store. Now you guys hopefully know why. And um, yes, skate, same thing, um, just with the temptations. Like there's not a ton, there is stuff that you could impulse buy on here, some, <laughs> but it's not, not the same, um, you know, as a regular grocery store. They do have like, seasonal random stuff on sale but um, it's not it's not the same as a store a grocery store a couple things to note too if you've never come you do have to bring um, your own I turned it you have to bring your own quarter I'll just like in European stores and you put in your quarter to get your cart and that way you can get your quarter back when you return it and that um, just 
keeps the cost low because they don't have to pay someone to get the cards so that's why they do that and they also don't do bags which some people hate but they don't do them at Costco and Sam's either so they just put it in a cart and you either bring your own bags or you just throw it in the back of your car or you know use those 31 bags and Ikea bags and you also can use boxes from in here grab a box if you don't have that much stuff and throw your stuff in that just kind of like at Sam's so Anything else anybody wants to say or see, I can show you around. <laughs> um, another fun find here is they, they do um, usually have bouquets of flowers for like $2.99 or $3.99 or something like that. And um, uh, so that's fun. You can splurge on buying um, things. They have, oh, I'm gonna turn it. I guess I can show you. Pumpkin cider. Fun things like that for the, the seasonal stuff too. Bottled water. Um, I think that's it. I mean, they have canned can goods, all that kind of stuff. They do have paper products and some, you know, things like that as well. But, all right. Kelly, I know you love Aldi. I was just showing a little tour. <laughs> People are staring at me, but that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go finish my shopping. Thanks for popping on, guys. And um, if you're just popping on, you can go back and watch at the beginning. If you shop at Aldi, I'd love to hear your favorite things here and I'm gonna keep shopping and I hope you guys have a great awesome awesome day